the scarlet macaws are returning to the Mayan ruins of Copan, where 2,000 years ago they were worshipped as sacred creatures. Symbol, the, the flying scarlet macaw is a symbol of the sun as it cruises above us with the same colors that the sun has, the reds and the, and the yellows. Honduran archaeologist Ricardo Agurcia has spent years doing excavation work at the Copan pyramids. But his dream is to see the macaws live here once again. Here. If you look at it from the side, it's very easy to see the eye right there. And you see the markings, the dots around the eye and his upper beak. The macaw presided over the sacred Mayan ritual known as the ball game. The game consisted in having two teams. One would be here and the other one in front. They had to throw a rubber ball that would hit one of the three markers. Now, if you look carefully, the markers were heads of parrots or scarlet macaws. The birds were sacred and the game was as well because it explained the origin of the universe. As Mayan civilization declined, the macaws were driven close to extinction in Copan. They have been captured and sold as pets. Most owners still clip their wings so they won't fly away. When they're in poor health, the colors are not brilliant. They don't explore. They don't, in this case, the birds didn't even fly. They were pretty much just on the ground as a bunch of uh, chickens would be in someone's backyard. Lloyd Davidson rescues macaws from captivity and tries to transform them into wild birds again. Some arrive in extremely poor health. So what we do when we get a stressed bird that's picked its feathers out, We'll just start changing conditions. We'll, and in some cases, they'll like recover completely. In other cases, it's progressed to the point where it's sort of a chronic, almost a mental disorder. He says the macaws and their cousins, the parakeets, are as smart as a three-year-old human child. They repeat human words and do tricks to get food. Some even sing. Here, macaws learn to fly like their ancestors and live among themselves. Most only speak bird language now. Today, the parrots of Copan are almost back to being wild birds. They fly freely, but still need to be fed. Davidson says if humans let them be, scarlet macaws could also be returned to their glory days, more than a thousand years after the fall of this great Mayan kingdom. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Copan, Honduras.